everyone and welcome to another ICH2 video. Really, really quick short review for you today because this week has been just manic for me. Um, but I had my little brother's graduation day this week as well, so that was a really cool, very, very proud moment. As you can see, I've got, well, this is the Hoover actually, sorry, vacuum cleaner. And I've got uh, lots of packaging being done and stuff being sent back. One guy who sent some stuff in ages ago was a friend of mine called Paul. And he sent in, if you recall, the ICH2 Lego actually burned into wood, so the pyrography or whatever it's called. Well, he also sent in, if you can remember and cast your mind back, he sent in this, which, <laughs> which Batman call a Gandhi dancer. So they've called it a Gandhi dancer. Um, and on the side of the box, it, it, it does indeed say HO scale operating Gandhi dancer. But I have been doing some research and found out that it's actually called a hand car. Well, <laughs> okay, here we go. So basically, it depends where in the world you live. But this little thing has so many names, it is untrue. It's called a hand car, a pump trolley, uh, a pump car, a jigger, a kalamazoo. I think that's one of my favourites. A Drezine, Drezine, Dressine, Dressine. I don't even know how to pronounce it. But I think my favourite is the Velocipede. <laughs> that cannot be right. That just cannot be right. It's right. So, Velocipede. I, I mean, who, who called it a Velocipede? Okay, I've just looked up Velocipede, and it is nothing like. Apparently a Velocipede is a human-powered land vehicle with one or more wheels. One? Who's going around on just one wheel? Right, getting back to it. Let's just call it a hand car, or a pump truck, or a pump trolley, or something like that. Whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to call it, there's no denying that it is a really quirky, really cool little thing. And Alan has been asking me to take a look at this for ages. He, he says it's powered, and it does indeed say operating. I cannot believe something this small is actually powered and is actually going to perform at all. Um, <laughs> I just gotta have a look at it, haven't I? Okay, so thank you for joining me on this side of the camera. Um, you'll you will notice that actually it's been put in it's been put in um, upside down. So the packaging is supposed to be that way, but the little pump truck pump trolley is actually the other way. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We can cope with that, I'm sure. So Batman, uh, Batman trains, and that's why we love. And oh, now that's the way to run a railroad. Oh, okay. Um, and then as you can see there, the text says operating Gandhi dancer. Um, on the back. Um, Ask your hobby retailer about other exciting HO scale model railroading products from Batman Trains. So I think basically this is the American Batman, isn't it? For a start, there's a couple of clues, like it's not the usual kind of Batman packaging we open. There's the fact that it's HO in scale. Um, and then there's stuff like this where they, I mean, they even use, you know, railroading rather than railways. So I would say that it's probably, uh, it could be American in origin, possibly. Um, maybe it's, maybe it is for the European market, but they just use the Amer American packaging and American terminology. I don't know. But let's open it up and see what it's like inside. So it's a really cute little box for a start. And look at that. Sealed away in ice. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at the gumpf. Remember, that's a technical term. Okay, this, wow, Philadelphia, over on the East Coast there. Um, so definitely American, I thought it was. So something there about warranty. I mean, it's important, don't get me wrong, but, oh, so boring. Gandhi Dancer, see they keep calling it a Gandhi Dancer and in term, and basically if you look up the term Gandhi Dancer it's like the American name for um, what we British call navvies, which are basically the railroad, <laughs> even I'm getting into it, the railroading, the railway engineers were called navvies, um, but in America they called them Gandhi Dancers. And we're just going to keep things simple by calling this a pump trolley or a pump truck. Okay. 
So, there we go. HO scale, spares, parts, lists, or, uh, oh gosh, look, they even mention about running it in lubrication and maintenance for something this small. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this is actually going to go. Like any fine piece of machinery, where's the focus point? There we go. Like any fine piece of machinery, your precision engineered Bagman trains will work better after a few hours of actual running time. What? You want me to run these two guys for a couple of hours? They're going to be knackered. And then one of my favorite type of exploded diagrams. Wow. That is actually a motor. I can see the coils. No way. This is actually going to go. Okay. Well, if I just... Ah, get away. Move all the packaging out of the way. And just get this little baby out. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. It's so cute. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I've never held anything for the railway um, so small and so lightweight. But look at that, you can even see part of the motor from the bottom. And to be honest, considering it's so small, it's really quite detailed, it's really quite quaint. I mean, let me see if I can get a little bit of a closer up shot for you. Okay, how about that folks? See, I'm getting better with this camera, aren't I? Famous last words. Look at those guys, they are not bad, are they? Okay, they do look like they may have come off a CBBC children's daytime program for two-year-olds, but I think that's with a good reason, because just look at their arms. They're designed to move. He might not be modeling the nicest of bums, but that's because I think he's designed to move. Seriously, I think the arms and the entire upper torso is going to be animated as this whole little thing moves around the track. <sighs> well, the, look, I really, you know, I can't comment on the livery, can I? Or, um, you know, cab detailing and lighting and stuff like that. It just doesn't exist. So let's take it straight to the track, give it some juice <laughs> and see what happens. So, hey, here we are at the test layout. Now, I just noticed, actually, this scene is pretty bland, isn't it? It's looking pretty dull and uninspiring. I even used to have a little plaque here that, you know, announced it as the world's most famous piece of skirting board. But in decorating, that got damaged, so I don't even have that anymore. But what I am going to do is just put one of these um, S-stock underground carriages um, really, really carefully and really gently down onto the area just over there because I want to put that there just for size comparison so that you can see just how tiny this uh, pump truck is. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me just create a little bit of more of a gap. There we go. You can see just how tiny this pump truck is compared to the S-Stock. Now bear in mind this Backman S-Stock here is pretty compact and pretty small as far as trains go. It has to be. They run underneath the city. But this pump truck is tiny. You could sit it on like several of the seats inside there. It's just so cute. And bear in mind that in real life they're even smaller than this proportionally um, speaking of course. But this is the size it is because they have had to cram a motor in there. So let's give it a bit of juice and see if it actually moves. I cannot believe it's going to no way! Oh my gosh! Oh, that is adorable. That is magnificent. Just look at this. Oh, wow! Look at those guys! Oh gosh, I don't know about you, Jeff, but I'm just so tired. I'm good. Right, okay. I'm going to have to take the camera off this little tripod thing and get some really good close-ups because you have got to see these guys. I've had to put the camera into autofocus mode, so of course every now and again it might lose focus. I am going to actually tap tracking and there we go, it's put a box around the pump truck so we'll see if it can track it. It might not though, let's see. So let's give it a bit of... Look at, look at them! Look at that that is just incredible i have never seen anything like this before 
Oh, it, maybe its wheels need a bit of a clean. Yes, I think they probably do. Bear in mind, it has sat in a box for months. I mean, just look how tiny this thing is. I can't believe how small it is. Okay. Okay, once the focus is caught up, let's get them going again. Look, even at slow speed... Oh, no, it's cut out. Maybe the wheels are dirty. There we go. It's going again. I mean, just... I, I would love to get to work every day doing this. I, in fact, if we just roll it back again, really quickly... <laughs> Who needs the gym? Right, okay, here's my proposal. Replace every single bit of underground stock in the world with these. Basically just loads of pump trucks. Look, look at the benefits, okay? You're going to get a workout every morning on your way to work and you make a new friend. You meet someone new. And it forces people to talk and chat. Maybe you could even swap numbers, have a coffee, share a biscuit. I think, ladies and gentlemen, pump trucks are definitely the future. Look at that. <laughs> that has made my weekend. That's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. <laughs> Paul, my friend, I don't think you're going to get this back. <laughs> hey peeps, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave a comment, please give it a like, and if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.